hey community so if we have done till now if we have set up everything for the pipeline sake now we can move toward the aws for the real time project so what we will do first we will try to set up a small server okay so we will take help of chat gpt as well and aws as well okay so i'll just show you quickly what all things we have to do and then you can do it by yourself this will be the fourth i guess fourth project uh, no fifth i guess yeah so what we will do firstly we will create one ubuntu server on in, like we will create an instance okay we'll just launch it i'll just say devops fifth devops fifth, fifth server okay this will be ubuntu ubuntu i'm taking 22 lts okay 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 keep your name whatever if i have some existing i'm not sure if i have that i'll create one name name is devops 5 okay create peer got downloaded okay these all things are fine okay i'll allow these also traffic from internet ssh everything okay we we'll launch it anything left okay so vpc required we'll go with the but there is no default vpc okay we'll create one okay default we will create here okay we'll just choose default no preference for now subnet we'll see okay okay the launch is created instance is created i mean meanwhile when it is coming in running state for now we will check with the chat gpt what all things we can ask okay so like what what do we need uh we need like uh, how to install nginx on ubuntu server this will be first thing we'll try to note down the points from here itself okay it will give us probably right how can we install these all steps are there we'll see whether it's in running state okay we'll get inside running we'll try to connect from here itself you can connect locally also i'm not connecting locally for now okay what all things we require we require sudo app update first okay then next is app install nginx we will ask all the process from the chat gpt itself okay okay install okay Suppose nginx has been installed and next is to start the nginx. Okay. This is how you can start the nginx. Okay. Now if you want you can enable also. Okay. We'll also enable. Okay. It will be first thing. Now after that if you want to allow something in firewall you can do that status week you can check which is important it should show us active and running right so nginx server has been installed on the ubuntu right so nginx has been installed what now now we may have to create one 
uh, okay how to create we have to create one dns so that we can configure on nginx i'll just show you how can we do it in an overview form you can do it by yourself there are a number of things around it how to create dns on aws we have to go on route 53 and all since i don't have an active domain or something so i cannot create it but you can create it by any like any dns you want okay see it is going to create a hosted zone and all right so we'll go see go to the steps go to aws console uh, open route 53 go to route 53 Okay, should allow me create a hosted zone. We'll create a hosted zone. Okay. See, my domain will not work. Okay, so you don't have to take this as an example of correct domain. I'm just taking as an overview form. So how can we do the steps to achieve that? Testanops.com. Okay. I don't have anything create hosted zone we have created hosted zone now configure name servers you will have the name servers here see so we will have see this is name server you have these name servers right add DNS records okay so you have to create the name servers sorry you have to uh, use these name servers which is name server has been already configured now let's create a record name you can uh, again like same any record name subdomain as such like uh, test and ops dot com is our domain right name server so we can do uh, def5 def5 Hyphen. Sorry. Test and ops dot com. Okay. So this we can create it. Any instance you want to prove, I'll just provide the instance IP for now. What is the public IP? This is public IP. I'll just go and keep it here. Okay create record record will get created okay so subdomain is also created right so this is uh, under this domain subdomain is created right so these will be few steps to create the dns okay suppose your dns and everything has been done next is now how to add subdomain in nginx now it will show us create dns record create server block okay now you go there and create a server block i'll try to do some nano i'll not do i'll try to do this okay my instance is here right location this is in this location right so we'll go there first we'll see but that's how the steps are you can easily use it are we here ls ls nothing is there okay so what next you have to create one subdomain dot conf it's not like you have to create as such like this you can create like what uh, touch uh, devops5 right devops uh, devops5 dot conf okay we have to copy this it will give us the permission how to create it
ओके सूडो गो विथ सूडो यू विल नॉट हैव दिस ओके गो विथ सूडो सूडो सू एंड देन अगेन ट्राई टू क्रिएट दिस बाय टच कमांड ओके ओके नाउ वी हैव कॉन फाइल या वी हैव राइट वॉट नेक्स्ट told us now create a server where it will listen to port 80 and server name will be our domain that we have created on aws right so okay let's do this for end to end project we'll try to do vi devops it should go in vi mode yeah right now insert copy paste this command itself sorry this snippet itself now what all we have to change we have to change our server name right what is our subdomain name our subdomain name is test and ops sorry this is dev dev5 testenops.com dot testenops dot com ah this is big anyway this is for just experiment purpose so we can go and use it here right right that's done this part is done for now now configure the sub domains content Oh yeah, sorry. Here you have to provide your subdomain and configure the request for the subdomain. Here you have to provide your code, whichever will be on subdomain, right? So for now, like suppose we don't have the code here. So whenever you will have the code, you have to provide those locations and all these things correctly, right? For proxy this, but we may not need to use this. so i mean this is just a dummy like here here and there there could be issues but i'm just showing like how can we do end to end so you don't have to exactly copy this you can go with your so here it will be code right like a uh, subdomain code here so suppose i will have some code uh, which is suppose like front end or some some kind of back end code or some code is there so we can provide here suppose you had created a folder called tab 5 maybe or something so you can provide as such like that that's how you can do it end to end and then test and reload the nginx okay so we'll just save it okay now you can cat for now okay some data is there whichever we have added for now right we'll just try to see this there could be issues with syntax as also okay something is not correct nginx directive is not allowed here in etc nginx confirm jobs not conf okay okay it is saying here is a general structure you can use as such it is saying the error you received because in general location directive are not allowed because instead of this all things okay okay not an issue i guess anyways you can check this like why it is not showing me maybe some issue i have done while providing the location okay on the server block on the location block yeah anyways so that's how you can do it you can use this command to check the configuration file suppose your configurations are correct then you can go and reload the nginx 
so whenever you will reload the nginx it will get reloaded okay service failed it is failed because my like this configuration has some error in syntax itself anyways so once you do that then what what will you do then suppose this is like correct and the uh, nginx is reloaded then you just have to go copy your url on the browser and you just have to reload so since i don't have any code and the uh, nginx is not loaded correctly so it will not show us anything but if you have correct code and the syntax and everything is like correct on nginx file also on configuration file then you will be able to see here you know, ui is or the like for backend if anything is provided right so this is just an example of how can you set up a server as a hands-on project right so yeah i guess it should be helpful thank you thank you so much